Hey guys, my name is Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. I am starting this vlog on a Thursday and I'm going to bring you along with me for a weekend in my life. See what I get into. I have zero clue what I'm doing. I know I'm going to dinner tomorrow and the rest of the weekend is up in the air. I'm still very limited in what I can do and can't do because of my knee injury. So come with me for the ride and let's see what we get into. Hey guys, since the last clip I went down a little editing spiral, I'm going to Trader Joe's to pick up some ingredients to make Seb and I dinner. So let's see what I end up getting. I have no clue what we're cooking. I'm just gonna see what calls my name. <laughs> wait, wait, use your arm. Hey you guys, happy Friday. It's 11 a.m. I'm finishing uploading my Q&A. That's why my computer literally sounds like it's going to implode. Yes, the Christmas tree is still up at my boyfriend's. But um, I'm about to go home after this is done uploading and honestly just shower and do some more LinkedIn and like Indeed job hunting. Okay you guys, I just got home. And now I'm going to shower and get ready for the day. Hey, you guys, I'm dropping off some ski stuff to Paige's because she's going skiing tomorrow. And she also just moved. So I'm gonna see her new place and I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, you guys, I just got the, um, Amazon little ring light for your phone that Alex Earl always talks about. It's in her storefront. And this is just a game changer. I'm going to go ahead and get ready and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and pick out a outfit for dinner. I've been like dying to wear this jacket from Zara. I still haven't worn it. I think I've had it for like a month. So I'm making myself wear it. I have no clue how I'm styling it. That's why I haven't worn it. So let's figure it out. Okay, I ended up just wearing a black turtleneck, the little bomber jacket, and some jeans, and then I'm wearing some black platform high top converse. Hey you guys, I woke up and I went downstairs to make coffee and I literally was walking the best I've walked. It's been 15 days exactly since I hurt my knee. So I'm mentally prepared to go on a little walk. Like when I say little, I mean like a 10 minute walk. And I was so excited. And then I finally, like this was the first day that I didn't check my MRI results right when I woke up because I've been waiting for a week for them. And I like released it. I was like, honestly, whatever happens, happens. I need to stop checking. And right when I was about to get ready to like brush my teeth for the day, I got my results. It says partial tear or sprain. It still doesn't say, but what's good is because either of those options means no surgery. So I'm literally on cloud nine. I'm gonna go in for a quick walk and then honestly clean my room. My room's been needing to be clean. Like I just need to dust and Windex and put my stuff away. And honestly, it feels like New Year's today, even though we're eight days or nine days into the new year. To me, this is like January 1st, mentally. Okay, so for the past few hours, I went on that quick little walk and then I showered, did my skincare and all that, and then I made a routine for this week since I'm finally able to teach now. I'm going to get my nail fixed. I don't know if you can even tell, but it's, yeah, you can totally tell it's cracked. And then I'm getting a pedicure. And then after that, um, I'm just gonna come home and get ready for date night with Seth. Hey you guys, I just got ready for dinner. I'm wearing my usual go-to dinner fit, which is a leather jacket, a skims top, and then I just have some Abercrombie denim on. I think I'm just gonna throw on my black platform 
high top converse again my go-to and we'll be ready to go dinner fit he refuses to think he needs a jacket It is my first time teaching in three weeks. Sorry, I literally couldn't talk in there because I did not want to wake up sad. But first time teaching, um, something weird kind of happened last night when I was taking off my brace and I was like reaching towards my toes. My knee hurt so bad, like I twisted. I, I did something really wrong. I don't know what I did. And um, now every time I step, it's popping. So, and I am teaching four classes right now, so. <laughs> not doing the best but not doing the worst i'll keep you guys updated but i'm gonna go ahead and teach i'll try to get a little clip of the studio but that's about it and i'll talk to you guys after um i just pulled up to work but really quickly i completely forgot to mention dinner last night it was so so good we went to arc i totally recommend honestly a really good girls night dinner vibe um, and then we watched, I think, two or three episodes of Love Island and went to bed. Um, so that was so fun. But I'm gonna run into Whole Foods super quickly because it is right here. I normally grab a granola bar and some sort of like parfait or something like that, like yogurt. I don't have a break, but I teach four in a row. So I have 15 minutes in between each class. So in between normally my second and third class, I will have my little mini breakfast. I am the worst and I completely forgot to vlog, but I just got home. I'm going to make myself some lunch and I honestly don't really know if I'm going to do anything else for the rest of the day. I might Duffy with friends um, and then probably just make dinner with Seb. So probably start editing this vlog and just chill. Seb is going on a run and he's running from his house to my house and then we're going to drive back to his. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Back at Trader Joe's. <laughs> I feel like I do get all my snacks. I feel like this vlog is repeating itself. <laughs> hey. 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 I will not tolerate that. When you try and act normal, it's like really, really weird. I'm the worst for being in my car the entire vlog. It's Monday and I'm at my um, orthopedic doctor for my knee. I get to find out everything. I, like I said earlier, I got my MRI results, but you can hear my voice how tired I am. I got my MRI results, but I can't really read them. So they're gonna read everything to me. They're gonna tell me what I can and can't do. And I'm so excited to just know. So I had my little coffee to go because my appointment, it's at 7.30. So I need to get out right now and go. Let's go ahead and go in and hope for the best. Hey, you guys. So I got my MRI results back and um, my meniscus is torn. Honestly, a bit shocked because I thought since I was walking on it and all that, I'd be good. But only 25% of people need surgery on their meniscus. Okay, I just moved to my phone and ignore my closet being open. I should be good. I'm gonna do everything in my power. I'm doing physical therapy and all that to not need surgery. I'm good to like work and all that. Should be good to start working out light workouts. So it's perfect that I love Pilates starting probably next week. 
and I asked when I could ski again because I have a mammoth trip planned. He said like six to eight weeks. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Sorry that this vlog was very like chill. It was a very chill weekend, obviously, but honestly, this is what my weekends normally look like anyways. Thank you all so much for watching, especially if you're still here. I love you all and I'll see you guys next time.